Still getting wheel spin. Hi guys, rubber band power time again. Got this kit, picked it up in a charity shop. Uh, don't know how much I paid for it. I would think probably a pound. That's the sort of thing I like to pay for things in charity shops. Guinness World Records, yes. Distance challenge and speed challenge. I see you can go online and take take part in these uh, competitions. Well, I should think this is probably pretty old. Yeah, 2014. This Paladone products. They seem to make plenty of this sort of toy. Okay. Well, that's washers for reducing friction. I'll give you lots of handy tips here. Adding traction, putting rubber bands around the wheels, reducing friction using the washers, removing resistance. I wouldn't have made mine the way they've made some of theirs anyway. Hmm. Okay, let's see what we've got. got. Some nice rubber bands. Looks like somebody's probably had a go with this. This axle's got a little peg on it, so you can hook the rubber band on. All the wheels have got a little tooth in them to go into the slot on the axle, so we don't have any problems with the wheels spinning on the axles. Well, I'm reading the instructions and I really can't understand why they're telling you to put the rubber band over the front axle. Because that's just going to slow things down straight away. But I guess they're telling you to do that so they can show you the improvement later on where you don't put the rubber band around the front axle. Got some little wheels for front axles and some big wheels. Front axle, front wheel. There's nothing to lock the pieces together. How odd. So that's their car, just like that. No cross members, nothing to hold it together. And in the first diagram they show doing it like that. Is hopeless. <laughs> hopeless. But I guess that's about how to learn things, isn't it? must say they're nice feeling rubber bands yes if I was putting this together myself I'd have glued a few things by now it's certainly going to work it's going to go all over the place 
at the very least I'll put a bit of card on there or something to glue it on just to hold the chassis straight we'll give it a try the way they show it and then we'll um, do some sort of simple modification just to keep it straight I'll do a summary at this point. It does work, and when it goes forward, it's powered by a rubber band, but it really flexes around. It needs something to just hold these pieces straight, so you've got a chance of going in a straight line. Just got some scrap card here. Cut this piece off it, which is the width that will allow me to use the short axle as the um, connection point for the rubber band and still use the longer axles for the front and back. So that's my bit of card just glued in place. I used super glue. So we've got a gap at the back there to allow for the rubber band to wrap around that axle. I needed to put the axles through before I glued the card on because they've got the little peg on it. Oh, I suppose I could have used that one, that one would have been alright. But that one at the back we definitely need to get in place before we glued it because you can't push that through once it's in place. So that should stop the chassis flexing around. Right, not happy with the rubber bands on the wheels. They keep springing off. But they do add grip. And then not a lot. <laughs> rubber bands on the front wheels as well. Oh, they just spring right off again. Uh, lots of wheel spin. Cutting up a balloon here. So we can use it as the rubber tyres. That should give us more grip. Still getting wheel spin even with rubber tyres on there. So I'm going to reduce the rubber bands down to the thinner ones so there's less power. Just in case you're wondering about the background noise. It's a rainy day out there. So now I've got rubber tyres front and back. Those are cut from a balloon, those are cut from rubber gloves. It's actually the thumb off the rubber glove. And I've reduced the power, so we're using smaller rubber bands. And I've also put drinking straws on the axles to keep the wheels, or to keep the axles more or less central. So they don't slop about quite so much. And we've got the bit of cardboard underneath holding the chassis straight. Still getting wheel spin. Alright, what I'm doing this time is stretching the rubber band as I'm winding it up.
That was better. That was about eight meters. So less power, so we don't get the wheel spin. Stretching the rubber band first of all, as we actually wind it up, so we get more turns on there. And that worked. So I'll put the camera down and see if we can come back. Summary time. What have we got? We've got rain outside, so it's noisy in here. I will edit the audio to try and get rid of most of that. So, what have we got? We've got a rubber band powered car made by Paladone for the Guinness World Records. This one's dated 2014 it up in a charity shop a while ago. Don't like it at all, it, it all slops around so I've modified it heavily myself which is probably not in the spirit of the original um, competition because I've added cardboard on the bottom there to stop it, stop the chassis flexing. I've added drinking straws to the axles to space the wheels to keep the axles in the middle. Uh, I've added rubber tyres, those are from a balloon. Uh, and those ones are actually cut from rubber gloves, the thumb of the rubber glove stretched over there. And I downgraded the rubber bands because the original ones were too powerful for what I wanted to do. So these ones are much thinner, much lighter weight. I still get wheel spin when I wind it all the way up. But I was at least able to do the, the distance of my kitchen and conservatory, which is about 8 metres. So job done.